Hey y'all, peace on earth and love and light to you. So, I already recorded this video one time outside and I have to do it again. For one, it was cold outside and I ran into some complications so I just came inside and maybe I should be sitting up but I don't know, I just kind of got frustrated so whatever. I'm laying down, this is how I'm going to stay. Sorry. But I, um, what did I want to say? Oh, I wanted to say, okay, so on this, these, on my videos, um, if you don't know, like if you just think, like if you're just coming in and you just think, I basically, basically just do readings, oracle readings, but that's not it because, um, there will be a plethora of stuff that I will talk about on this channel. And, um, because I know I started out more so with motivation and stuff because, um, I really didn't know about a lot of this stuff <laughs> when I first started out. And it was more so more of motivational and encouraging, like, videos. And I will still do that, but really, um, I'm not going to make any separate channels. So, whatever I find out, and it's something that can kind of awaken people or give them any type of information, then I'm going to post it so i've been thinking about this lately because um i wanted to make this a long time ago and i keep forgetting but then someone recently told me they had a problem with this and i was like let me make this video before i forget so i had okay what i'm gonna start with first let's start with yeast infections first because they're kind of hard to get rid of. I've noticed that even when I was like um, buying like yeast infection creams and stuff out of the store, even if you buy like the three day, five day, or the seven day one, it would take a little while for it to go away. So, and it's just like that now. I will say this though I don't get yeast infections that much. So, um,. I know that everything that I'm about to talk about is just really common issues amongst females. So I'm just going to say for the times that I've experienced a yeast infection, this is what has happened to me. I mean, this is what has helped me. So you can um, go to any store, I guess. I get mine from Walmart, any grocery store, I guess, and just get you some natural coconut oil get you some tampons and what you will do is and yeah coconut oil can be kind of pricey but if you have an ebt card like me then use that they accept it so um get the tampon dip the tampon coat it really good in the coconut oil put it up your vagina and leave it there maybe like four hours or um, sometimes if I feel myself starting to, like, itch again, then I'll take it out and, like, put another one up there. So, just listen, listen to your body and see, like, how long that will be. And just do that throughout the day. The next day, it will be, you will feel so much better. But do that for, like, two days straight. And you'll, you won't feel anything. It should be completely gone and it won't come back. You can also, like, get you some garlic, like a garlic clove. Like, garlic is not that expensive at all. Like a dollar or something like that at the grocery store. Cut just one garlic clove up, like, into pieces. Um, I wouldn't try to swallow that whole. I wouldn't. I mean, I'm not good at swallowing medicine anyways, but still something like that, I wouldn't try to swallow it whole. But cut it up and just take it like you would Tylenol. And you should feel a lot better, like, the next day. And, like, if you don't, just keep doing it until it goes away. And I say when it comes to yeast infection, the first sign of a yeast infection, just go ahead and um, do it right then and there. Same thing for the... UTI, the urinary tract infection. First signs of that, do it right then and there, and that will make all the difference in the world, okay? So, as far as a UTI go, um, I would say this too. I have not had that a lot of times, maybe three times in my life, but the 
first time, like I think I was pregnant with my baby and um, I just took medication. The second time what I did was I found out that just drinking any type of tap water, like every time you have to pee, as long as you have something to pee out, like it's going to make you feel so much better. So in between peas, <laughs> you know, and all that peeing that you have to do, make sure you're drinking a lot of water because you're doing your body so good just by having something to pee out and flushing the bacteria out of your system and I remember um um one time when I had it like um I had looked up how to get rid of it and it was like well you need something alkaline so I I happen to have some alkaline water and I drank it like the first day I knew that it was coming on because I knew what it was and I did that. I just simply drank alkaline water all day. That's all I did. The next day, it was gone. And um, I kept drinking the water anyways. And like, but I didn't feel any kind of that, like that urge to pee was completely gone. And then the next time I got it, and I couldn't afford any alkaline water because around here, it was pretty much new at that time. And it was kind of expensive. So I went to the doctor to get some medicine. But I took like one one like tablet because it made me feel funny and I was like that's it but I think I did like a reading or something I forgot but I ended up getting some money and like so the next day I went and got me some alkaline water some Himalayan salt from looking up different things this is what I found to use and some apple cider vinegar and um I did all that and the next day I felt so much better but it was already practically gone because I had already been drinking on water and stuff so um that time it took about three days that time but um oh and the first time I said all I did was drink um water no I also had some apple cider vinegar I had the kind with ginger in it actually at that time and I was drinking that too so um when it comes to BV that's so much easier I have more experience with that because I used to get it all the time and I will say this um it's more of a trend now to uh, shave all the hair off your vagina I would say don't do that you can keep it trimmed neat and trimmed or whatever like I do it don't have to be a bush but that really keeps a lot of infections down and people say well hair is nasty because it holds odor well you're not supposed to have any odor and then for two um they say well when you pee like the hair the pee gets on the hair well when you pee and you don't have any hair then that means it's directly on your skin so i don't know you know two each is on it's to me it's like at the end of the day you still have to you know like wipe pee off yourself wipe blood off yourself whether it's on your hair or your skin or you know like I don't know. To me in my head, like, I really went on, want it on directly on my skin. So, whatever. But, if you do that, and you're prone to yeast infections or UTI or BV bacteria, which is bacterial vaginosis, then you might want to grow you a little hair. So, because once I started doing that, I mean, um, it cut out on a lot of BV. And I will also say... Um, if you, um, don't have a steady partner, if you don't have a boyfriend, I have a steady partner, but this is not my boyfriend, and I really don't know what he do, but as far as, um, if you keep getting BV over and over and over again, then that means he has a lot of partners or whatever, so you're supposed to get, when you get BV and you get rid of it and it don't come back and you have the one partner, and it don't come back, then you can pretty much trust that he's clean and he's just not out there doing it with all types of girls. But if you keep getting BV over and over again, that's one reason why you keep getting BV, okay? Because your body is not mixing with all the rest of those females' bodies that he has been inside. I think that is all, you guys. Um, if I think about anything else, and um, I can't even say how to get rid of BV. Okay. Get you like a Massengill douche. They say don't douche, but you're going to need to in this case, and it's going to help, and it's not going to hurt you. 
So, because this is natural. All these things are natural, whatever. And um, you would pour out the vinegar that's already in there, okay? Fill it up halfway with water, any type of water. And then you will get you like some 50 cents or like 65 cents, like I know it is down here, like um, peroxide from Dollar General, and fill that up half, you know, for the rest of the way. Do that three times a day. The first time you do it, you know BV comes with that smell, so the first time you do it, it should be gone. Like the smell would be a whole lot better. By the third time you do it that day, um, that smell should be totally gone. Do that three times a day, three days straight. It shouldn't be back. It shouldn't come back for a long time unless you're just prone to get after every period or something like that. They used to happen to me, and especially since I got on um, birth control, I'm on a copper IUD. Maybe I'll make a video for that too. But I'm saying um, it really will come after my period sometimes, especially since I'm on that. But if you do that, then it should be gone. And that's all, you guys. Bye.